Good morning. I don't want to sleep anymore. I'm too excited to wake up. It's so warm outside. I have the window open and I can just tell. <laughs> it's just so warm. I want to go run around. Wow. This is great. This is this is amazing. Oh, I think it's like 5 a.m. or something. Oh, I love the darkness. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Good morning. The air this morning feels so good out here. Oh my gosh. I'll tell you one thing, there is absolutely nothing better than a morning swim. Wow, the world is magical. There's truly nothing better in the world than a cold swim and then a warm fire and coffee. I swear, that is like all you need in your life. <laughs> so, a little update on things that have been happening. There's still snow on the ground, <laughs> but it is melting and it is definitely so much better than like in the dead of winter. <laughs> Everything is looking better. Things are coming back to life. <laughs> also, there is marmots everywhere. They are coming out of hibernation and they are overtaking everything. <laughs> I found a marmot inside my engine the other day. That scared me so much because last season something, possibly a marmot, made a nest in my car and chewed up all the wires. So I went to the farm supply store and I got some like natural essential oil spray to spray around my car to keep them out. <laughs> so we can't do much on the farm garden area until the snow melts. The starts are going really well and growing, so that's really nice. These days I've basically just been <laughs> drinking a lot of coffee and sitting next to the fire. I actually have quite a bit of firewood left over from this winter. I used so much less than I expected, but it makes sense because tiny houses are like so efficient because you're only heating such a small space. So you really don't need that much wood to get this space hot, which is really nice. I have tons of leftover wood I'm gonna save for next season. I spent the past couple days trying to clean the house as much as possible. Um, just feeling like I wanna get organized and prepared for this upcoming spring, summer season. It's gonna be really busy, so I wanted to like clean everything.
besides that, I'm basically just doing like all my usual chores. <laughs> When I was at the farm store, I got a bird feeder because I thought it would be really nice to sit on my deck and be able to watch the birds. <laughs> uh, so far, I will say, no birds have eaten anything from the feeder. <laughs> I've been watching, <laughs> but maybe soon. It's been so sunny and just warm and beautiful outside these days. So I've been spending a lot of time down by the river and sitting outside on the deck. Just like spending as much time as possible outside in fresh air it just feels really good after being cooped up all winter. <laughs> I also got pretty bored and thought it would be nice to build a little bench for the entryway of the house. So I decided I wanna put like a little bench thing right here cause the wheel well is here and it looks pretty ugly and it'll be nice to have like a little area to just like set things in when you walk in the door. So I'm gonna measure, I'm gonna measure the length that I need. I wonder how, I wonder how tall I should put it. Maybe like 22. the extension cord it's not long enough so I'm gonna move everything from over there to here <laughs> this piece of wood is a leftover cutting from a fallen tree we took slabs of this probably like two years ago or so. It's been drying since. The wood's a little warped, but since I'm only using like this section, I th think it will be okay. <laughs> I'm so excited about this because I've been storing all these things back behind my little pull-out things and it's been really inconvenient to 
access them. So now I'm like so excited to have a space to put all of these things. Oh my gosh. This fits so perfectly. All these books here. <laughs> that is just so perfect. This is like the most amazing thing. Ugh. I've still been going up to the top of the hill often, uh, especially now that the snow's melted up there. I like to bring my binoculars and like write down what I see. Usually it's just trees, but today I wrote the sun and a couple of clouds. <laughs> So I'm currently making some falafels. Um, I have some chickpeas in the pressure cooker that I soaked. And they are almost coming to pressure. So once they come to pressure, it'll take like, I don't know, like 20 minutes to cook. And then in here I have onions and garlic and some spices that I ground up. Feels like my body and my soul are just slowly starting to wake up after a very tough winter. The snow is like virtually all melted at this point, which is just the most amazing thing. Sprouts are like the tastiest thing ever. And it's so cool because you can grow them yourself with literally just water. That's incredible to me. That was so cool. Raquel came over one day and I actually ended up chopping all of her hair off. So this is Raquel's <laughs> hair before. <laughs> <laughs> Are you nervous? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sit up as straight as you can. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Are you kidding? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Do you hear this? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> Here's your hair. There's your hair, darling. Don't worry, Raquel. I'm kind of traumatized. I'm scared too. Oh, is it dyed? Does it look good? Oh my god, it looks is so it all of me? good! <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Okay, now I just gotta. I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. We gotta get the. We gotta get it wet. Wait. What do you think, Raquel? It's really good. It's gonna make a nice makeup brush now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. you're so beautiful. You know wow. what? It's gonna be so easy to wash it now. That was a crazy event. <laughs> um, also, Logan came to visit for about a week and. Me, Raquel, and Logan ended up singing a song together. That was honestly like such a beautiful moment, like the two people I loved so much together singing. I don't know, it was nice. Oh, 
The sun is just now rising over the mountains. And it's so beautiful. Oh my gosh, wow. This sun right now is like healing my entire body. I actually cannot get over how good the sun feels and the air is just so warm <laughs> oh my gosh wow <laughs> no heat in the tiny house so I went and put a log on the fire um, you know something about being out here makes me really want to be a country boy Found town find a nice new gown for my girl I just want to be an old country soul Till in the farm is my only goal. <laughs> I 
just want to be alone with my horse and I'd wear my boots in my hat of course <laughs> but it's just it's just not in my blood I'm afraid I make spooky weird lo-fi music and not much about me as country but something about it something about it out here <laughs>
It's <laughs> way too much. I've struggled with making tempeh multiple different times. Um, but I finally figured out what I was doing wrong is just adding the fermenting yeast when the beans were too hot. So you have to let the beans cool until they're like room temperature and then it will ferment correctly. Um, but yeah, tempeh turned out great. What do you think? It's really good. <laughs> Ever since I started playing the drum, I always thought it would sound really cool to have a guitar playing with it. It's proven to be very difficult to make them sound right together because they're very different instruments and like I've never been able to do it. I've tried for a very long time. I also don't know anything about like music theory, so that's another problem. <laughs> when Logan was here, he wrote a guitar singing part to the drum and we played it together and it turned out so cool, this song that we wrote. Yeah, it, it was amazing. It'd finally be able to hear the guitar and the drum together. It's, yeah, it was really cool. But alas, here I am, inevitably alone in the mountains, waiting and waiting <laughs> for something to happen. It is so beautiful. I'm gonna run around outside and live my life like Isabel should. <laughs> Anyways, okay, see you guys later. Bye-bye.
It's okay. You're okay. <laughs> I felt a burp. <laughs> What? I'm sorry. I was laughing. <laughs> That's not helpful. My nose is running to where it's like down here and it's gonna look so bad. <laughs> it's so hard to sing through the burp. <laughs> so you can't say these things to me right now. It's not funny. I can't work under these conditions. I'm gonna pee my pants. You might have a bladder issue. <laughs> you pee so often. <laughs>